We've covered all the basic data types already, but there's one you may see a lot, and that is null. Now it's usually written in all uppercase or all lowercase like this. So it's null or null in all uppercase. Now null represents a variable with no value. Now null happens when a variable is assigned the value null or it's been unset or simply hasn't been set a value. So let's take a look at each of these scenarios so we can better understand uh, when we might see null and how we deal with it. So let's create again, let's go back to basics and create a name variable and assign it the value null. Now we can either do this in all lowercase or we can do it in all uppercase. But again, if you are using the value null to set a initial value, make sure you keep consistency either always lowercase or always uppercase. So let's do a var dump on name and we can go over to the browser and see what we get. So you can see we have null, simple as that. Now you might be wondering, why would we even do this? Well, in this case, what we're saying is we want to set a variable called name, but we're not quite sure what the value will be yet. Now, later on in our code, we might have some kind of condition that allows us to set a value to name, maybe based on the result of an if statement, which we briefly looked at earlier. So setting a default value like this is quite often very helpful since we know that somewhere in our code, we're eventually gonna update this value Putting it at the top here or somewhere will just say we are going to set this, but we don't quite know what the value will be just yet. So if we did want to update this later on in our code, we could simply go ahead and overwrite it. As we've already seen, this will just update the value and then we get out a string. So the reason that we do actually assign this null value is we can't do something like this or we can't do the following. It just won't work. We'll see an error. And if we go ahead and uh, declare, say, a name variable without setting anything, it just doesn't work. So what we need to do here then is take a look at what happens when we try and var dump something that just simply does not exist. So let's say age. Let's give that a refresh and you can see we get pretty much the same result. Undefined variable age. Not only do we see an error here or a notice here, we actually still see a null value. So if you are trying to access a variable that doesn't exist, hasn't been set anything, it will by default be a null value. So lastly, but kind of less importantly, you won't see this too often, is if you did have a variable set like this, so Alex, and you were to use the php unset function on that variable, this will go ahead and set it to null and it will basically just unset this so we can't really use it. So let's go ahead and just test this out. So let's echo out name, give that a refresh and we see Alex. Now let's unset it and go ahead and echo out name. We see we get an undefined variable because we've unset it. If we do a var dump on name, not only we will see that warning, we will also see the value null. So if you see the value null anywhere, it's usually been set prior to something being overwritten. But if you do see null along with a notice like this, you know that essentially you're trying to access some kind of value or some kind of variable that just hasn't been set and doesn't exist. Now, in this case, there's not really any reason to unset a variable. If you did want to clear this, what you could do is later on in your code, go ahead and explicitly set that to null. That would mean that this variable does exist. We won't see the notice that we saw just here. However, we will see a null value. So it's best practice if you want to kind of clear something out to go ahead and set it to null. Either way, that should give you a good ground as to what null is. You will see this a lot while you're working with PHP, but now at least you know what it is and how it works.